Backups now from Macklin. Left shot, Jamie Moore. Macklin crashes into the ropes. See, Moore should be looking to find himself some room. He's hurt Macklin, he wants to be stepping back. But back he comes oh, again. Look at this from Matthew Macklin. And Jamie Moore is backed up. What about this? Unbelievable. Well, this is the kind of exchange that can break either fighter's heart. Whoever comes out of this type of exchange may go on to victory, but there's no hints as to who that's going to be. Toe to toe, exchanging with each other in a dramatic fight. And we have no idea what's going to happen next. We've seen this before. Back it comes firing again. Moore beckons him in. Desire a plenty for Macklin. This is good work from Jamie Moore. Macklin's defences are scattered here. Looking disorganised, dishevelled Macklin and holds on. I think Macklin is just too proud for his own good. He looks sold out here. But he won't hold. He won't spoil. Too much heart here, not enough common sense for Matthew Macklin. Gambles it all again. More tired too, though. Body shots from Macklin. One of the rounds of the year. Anywhere in a domestic ring. Three more rounds to go, and it has been sensational. Well, you've heard me say in some of these, this type of fight, there's one round that just decides the outcome. I wonder if I've just watched that round. That sapped so much from both men. Full-blooded punches landing cleanly. Both took tons about and teeing off on the other. Incredible round that was. Macklin, even when he looks to have nothing left, back he comes again. Tenth round, and this British Lonsdale belt means so much to the pair of them. I mean, this is a fight, Jim, that would live in any era, wouldn't it? I mean, this is incredible. They have just not stopped punching from the first bell. Moore again trying to, to use a defence, use his skills a bit more. Macklin shaken by that one. Yeah, good punch from Jamie Moore. Can Macklin oh, hold on, dig deep, or will he fall apart? Looking disorganised again, Macklin. He's just swaying all over the place, not even thinking about defence, Macklin. Oh, he has to go down, finally, in the tent. That's a push, no, that's a push. He stumbled down. A punch landed before him over there, but I think he actually pushed his shoulder. But it's the fact that he, he collapsed to the canvas. He looks as though he has nothing left. Yeah, may not have been a knockdown legitimately, but was that the breakthrough for Moore? Seeing him go down, seeing him exhausted. And there's no snap in anything. And he comes back with a beautiful right hand. What training Matthew Macklin has done. Hats off to Billy Graham, Kerry Kays and the team. Oh, that could be Curtis. He won't get up from that. Ten round, Macklin's out. Fight's over. No celebration for Jamie Moore because the doctors will need to come in. That's the respect between them. And at the end of the war, it is Jamie Moore that cuts through a quite phenomenal battle. But all our attention now is to Matthew Macklin who gave us so much, and the doctors are straight in because it was a very heavy fall. Yep, they've got the oxygen ready, they've removed the gum shield, they've put him out on his side in the recovery position. No signs of alarm as yet, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Jamie Moore obviously not in the mood to celebrate. A scene we've seen before in British boxing, a worrying time.
the ambulance paramedics they're all in dealing very quickly An excellent safety now the British board make sure that all is well and Macklin is down and we just wait being turned on his side and uh, there's concern in the crowd after such a, an epic epic fight between the pair of them and uh, it's good to see Jamie Moore just trying to calm everyone down here because there's so much respect and friendship between the pair yeah and after such a, a brutal contest I mean it was uh, sportsmanship all the way but uh, at this moment in time we're just hoping and praying everything is alright with young Matthew Macklin yep, devastating for Macklin after he put so much into this but uh, his health is the only thing that matters right now Billy Graham at close hands with the paramedics and they're just discussing what to do now they're calling for the stretcher and um, I think they're going to get him straight out of there we've seen some difficult scenes over the years with Spencer Oliver Paul Ingle and um, Valerie Odin recently but uh, he's an expert hands Jim yes they will uh, they're taking their time with him obviously there's uh, administering oxygen while he's lying there they're already they'll have the ambulance ready they'll have contacted ahead uh, to, to the hospital but uh, we're hoping it doesn't go as far as that I mean Matthew must be completely exhausted so for that reason alone they would keep him in the ring well, obviously experienced men will make a decision whether to keep him there a bit longer or is it time to move him? If it was a panic, I think they would have him out of there already. So, just keep hoping for the best. They did keep Spencer Oliver in the ring for some uh, 15, 20 minutes after his fight with uh, Sergei Davikov and um, injected him with insulin to uh, reduce any swelling that may have occurred. His blood clots could be a problem. And after such a hard fight, Jim. Yeah, an exhausting fight. I mean, both men were exhausted, so obviously punches uh, have much more of an effect at this stage of a contest. It really is a worrying time. Yeah, tears at ringside from the Macklin supporters who um, look stunned. And uh, we just wait and hope because such a grueling, grueling fight. Well, it needs only a, a positive outcome health-wise. There's Seamus, his brother. They're so close. And uh, we've just been told by the camp that uh, he's he's breathing. And uh, Well, the signs are good, the, the word we're getting from ringside, but uh, obviously treating it still very, very seriously some uh, extremely professional men in there and some very very good cornermen too shattering this for Billy Graham and also for Ricky Hatton upstairs his stable mate and for Jamie Moore who's defended his British title but uh, no one no one wanted an outcome like this and there's his friend Ricky Hatton best pals with both of them